Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be going over a Smartsheet automation tool where I ask people yes or no whether the project is on track. Let's get started. So there's a few columns I want you to take a note, which is one status, colored by green, blue, and red. The tracking, where I'll store that data. The end date, the task, and the assigned. So let's get started. Let me zoom in first. So I go to automation, I create a workflow from scratch. I'm going to call it requests, requesting an update. And in the trigger, I want it to go when the date is reached. And I can custom run it to repeat at least twice a week, Monday to Friday. And then I want to set it at, let's say, 7 a.m. before 8. You can set it whatever you want. Totally fine. First, I'm going to stick with the general condition, which is task. And I'm going to add a value, which is building catalog, one of the projects that I'm specifically following. Now I can add another condition that makes a little bit more sense, like status. And when the status is yellow or red, I want the update to continue. You can use a date, which is totally fine as well. Now you can alert someone or you can generate a document, but sometimes you won't get that yes or no. So I want to request an update. So I'm going to click on request an update. When I do this, it'll ask me to send to specific people or any of the contacts in the cell. I want to get that. And what I want to select is the one that has the contacts label. So assigned is a contacts column. So whenever if row one has Denzel as the name or the primary person, it's going to send it to Denzel, and if somebody is in number two, it's going to send it to them instead of sending it all to one person. So I'm going to customize the message. And in this message, let's say I say, um, is the project on track? And you want to be able to pull in data from the Smartsheets. And what you can do is you can say, hey, is the current task assigned to, and you do a double bracket, curly bracket assigned and this is the column name you know hey is a current task assigned to blank currently on track or something and then you can do task boom boom and question mark and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add specific fields so that they can update which is maybe they want to add a comment or they also want to add the tracking which is the yes or no. Once I have that, I click save and I should be good to go. I have created one earlier, so no worries. We're going to take a look at this one because I don't want to wait till the update to send, right? Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. So they'll get an email and let me pull up the email real quick. And in the email, it will look like this. I blanked out the email uh, for the sender, so it's sending it to me. And first name, last name is just a blank, whoever it will be for. So the current task is assigned to Denzel. And so I'm the project manager. I'm receiving this task for Denzel. But if Denzel were to receive it, this would be in his first and last name. Can you please provide an update for the following building catalog? And I wrote this one a little bit different, but you can see how it's pulling the name and it's pulling the name of that task. And then you, he can update the form for row one. And it will also display the current values in those fields that I are requesting an update. So let's go back. So once I do this, I can say yes, add a few comments, blah, blah, blah. And he can send a copy to himself and update. So what does that look like? Let me come back. So for scenario three, I updated it with yes. And I added some blank words, some random comments. And what you can see here is if you want to check how many times I actually sent this update, just for tracking purposes, I sent him every single one, or I sent myself every single one for a couple of days until 917. And it says here that it's been completed. So then you can know the response ratio. Maybe they just don't want to look at it, or maybe the automation isn't working. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and take care.